morning friends I uh, hope you're doing well today um, today's video I want to talk about where I'm at with Summer's case um, and with my channel I um, I've gotten to the point where the lack of information the lack of any progress in the case the lack of any arrest or holding anyone accountable after a year I'm really lo losing, getting towards losing all hope that this case will be um, solved and that people uh, will be brought to justice on behalf of Summer. And I, I'm sorry, I'm just being open and real about where I'm at with this right now. And it's it's been an emotional burden for me. Um, I feel like my videos are out of my love for this little girl and my hope to give her justice, but I don't know if you guys remember this, but about two years ago, there was the whole thing about Wayfair in those cabinets that were extraordinarily priced. The prices and the pictures of the cabinets or the models is not such a concern to me. But what really concerned me was the names that they put on those cabinets. They were names of missing children, with the exception of maybe one or two uh, that had been missing and found, but they were still missing children. And whenever it, it became public that someone had found this online, they then went on to a Russian website, Yandex, and were able to pull up some of the things, um, some of the, the words or letters, and it brought up basically pictures that were suggestive with children and inappropriate. And so I, this does go on in the world. I, you know, have my friend Y Crime and um, ELP, Enchanted Life Path, They've done a lot of work on this, and they've seen it for themselves and shown us. This is very real. Child trafficking is happening in our country and around the world. It seems like Russia might be a hot spot. But, you know, the Wayfair thing was, oh, you know, Wayfair's statement was, we're, we, we took them all down and we're going to rename them without ever having explained why um, they were named after missing children, kind of like Tim Mullen and the uh, glitch shoes. It's just all very odd. It it looks very suspicious, but they took they took the names down. They took down the listings, and that was it. There was no more explanation. Every major uh, news outlet, you know, played it down, debunked it supposedly, and all that kind of stuff. And I'm just like, no, that's not good enough. And so I feel like I've gotten to the point where I feel like Summer's case is along that same line. It's being covered up. It goes way up and way deep. And I'm afraid that we're never going to have justice for her. And I'm sorry if you see, you know, that me giving up hope on this is, is being weak or um, I'm being negative, but it's just a reality for me. I don't think this is going to go anywhere. I don't think this is ever going to get solved. We would have seen um, something happen by now, and we would have heard law enforcement saying something other than we are still, on, you know, we're still no further along than the first day. I mean, you would have to be. You would have to be after over a year and I'm just not buying it. I think they've determined to cover this up for whatever reason to protect people and there's a lot of powerful people involved and I'm sorry but I don't see this getting solved. So I'm going to end my videos on summer unless something comes up and we have a real major thing come up 
and I feel very led to make a video, I will, but um, I think I think I'm at my wits end with this. And I just want to say how much I've enjoyed talking to you guys about Simmer's case and all the support and feedback you've given me and then praying for me when my niece died this week. Um, I, I was blown away <laughs> by all the kindness. And I'm sorry that there were so many people with stories like mine. I'm so sorry my heart goes out to each one and I thank you all for being loving and kind to me so that's it for me guys take good care of yourselves hug your kids hug your your family keep them close I wish you all well